welcome back. Uh, this week's second Monday's video is week three of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. Okay, so week three of the YouTube Pagan Challenge, the question is, do you have altars, shrines, or sacred space? My sacred space is my bedroom. Um, what I do is I, oh, holy crap, sorry about that. Ugh, I'm miserable, as you can tell. But anyway, what I do is I take rocks like these. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. It's a whole bag of rocks. And I bless them. I charge them with whatever power I can get my hands on at the point in time. And I use these as ward stones around my room, making sure nothing evil can get in. And that is my version of sacred space. Now, other people may not do it that way, so that's perfectly fine and well. I have my own method, just like everyone else has theirs. Now, the shrine, though, I do not have any shrines. Um, I plan to make a shrine as soon as I have my own apartment. I have a picture of my grandmother, and she will be my shrine. She will be who I pray for every morning. And as well as my other grandmother and my grandpa. And my friend Aaron, who died in 2009. So that is my version of shrines. Some people who have passed away that I think I need to remember in some sort of small way. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet. So, if you guys have any ideas on that, uh, please let me know. <laughs> Next one is, last one is altars. I do have an altar, but I do not believe in showing it off. Um, I believe that is solely mine, as well as my Book of Shadows. I do not like to show that off either. Matter of fact, I don't like people touching it at all. Like, I have, every time it is out and there's someone here, I say, hands off, or I will break your hands. Because I don't like people touching my stuff. For one, I've had too much stuff stolen. Not to mention, my Book of Shadows is blessed, and I don't want someone coming in with bad energy and touching it and making me have to go through the trouble again of blessing it. So I... Oh. So I do not allow people to look at my altar, touch my altar... Look at my book of shadows or touch my book of shadows in any form or fashion. And that is the way that I will do that. Now, please note that, well, I collect candles. So that's basically what my altar consists of. As well as a tiny little cauldron and a tiny little chalice. <laughs> a crystal ball. My runes is on there as well. An altar cloth that has a pentacle on it. And that is my altar. The candles represent the four elements uh, on with the colors. Uh, I'm use blue for water, obviously. Red for fire. Yellow for air. And uh, brown for earth. Now, I don't know if other people do it that way. I may be the only one. But... That is the way that I do my altar. I do not put anything special on my altar because I do not believe that having special items or whatever will make me be more powerful or anything. I'm a simple person. All I need are candles and prayers and certain, certain spells that I use as well. So that is week three. If you guys would like, also like to do this challenge in response to mine, please do. Feel free. Uh, I have nothing against that. And I will see you guys next time in the next video.